completely remove the semispinalis capitis from its attachments to the skull. Again, note the convergence of the fibers of the semispinalis services to the spinous process of C2. Removal of the semispinalis capitis reveals the suboccipital triangle. The muscles which form this triangle are the rectus capitis posterior major, the obliquus capitis inferior, and the obliquus capitis superior, which takes its origin from the transverse process of C1 and attaches to the skull. In the interval between the right and left rectus capitis posterior major muscles, note the belly of the rectus capitis posterior minor. Also note, emerging from the inferior border of the obliquus capitis inferior, the nerve fibers which form the greater occipital nerve. Also note the accompanying occipital artery.